Podcast. The podcast beyond World of Warcraft. What up, everybody? Welcome to the second episode of season two on Mocast. Oh. You know, the place where we oh, just yeah. chill and chat with some lovely and interesting WoW community figures. And uh, you remember in the first season, we had one uh, person who we talked a lot about PvP. Oh, yeah. How can I forget <laughs> about Stoops the Man, man? That uh, was that was Stoops. such a cool talk. One of the, yeah, one of, one one of the talks one of that the still uh, is ingrained in my mind. And so, uh, I mean, a lot of people don't know that we're also really uh, hardcore, yeah. really, really loving PvP. It doesn't show in our content, but uh, today uh, we have a pretty cool guest for you guys. Oh yeah, and uh, you saw you saw the title, yeah, you saw the thumbnail. Of course, you know who it is, Zario, the one and only baby. All right, how you doing, my man? <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, thank you so much for having me. I love that intro. I'm really cool, <laughs> and I'm interesting, and I'm a PvP. Here, let's go. Man. <laughs> it's perfect. It's it's everything that we hope and want. Oh hell yeah, man! I mean, it's the mm. that's the thing, right? Where we made like the list of people, especially from the PvP community. Oh man, it's like, all right, we gotta get Stoops, we gotta get Swifty, maybe at some time, man. But what, like, no, like, definitely what, gotta what? have Swifty. <laughs> and and then then Zari popped. I was like, man, do you do you remember we used to do some stuff? I mean, apart from the the Frost uh, Frost and Fire Mage guides, I think Arcane too. We we used yeah. to do something IRL based on your information, but we'll get to that. No oh, spoilers, yeah. spoilers. All right, all right. So, but okay, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll not talk too much about us. But the focus here is uh, on uh, the men of the hour, Zaryu. So hey, uh, Zaryu, like for for the people who don't know, uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself, what it is you do, and all of that. All right. So I am a rank one mage. I guess it's been. 15, uh, 15 seasons of rank one now, something like that. I lost count. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> We're playing a lot of WoW in the evening on the gaming streams. So I'm a, I'm a Twitch live streamer. I'm also, I, I suppose, a YouTuber. My, my YouTube content is a lot of Twitch highlights. And um, in the mornings, we're doing workout streams. And I say we, I mean my fiance and I. So we're doing yeah. community body weight style workout streams with the community to inspire people to become a little bit healthier as gamers or a little bit more active or just to start that process of thinking of, oh, maybe I should hit a workout before playing WoW for 10 hours, you know? Yeah. And my <laughs> mission so as a streamer is to just make gaming into this healthier space, right? We have a a cookbook, a program for people to get started on. And we're really just out there leading by example and uh, inviting yeah. people to join in. So we're doing uh, workout streams in the morning, gaming streams in the evening. We got the YouTube and uh, content's flowing over on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch. And that's that's what I'm blessed to be able to say I'm doing full time right now, which is <laughs> pretty awesome. And for the last eight years, I guess. Yeah. The last eight years. Wow. Because Okay, there's yep. a lot to unpack, guys. Uh, there's, there's there's stuff. I think one of the the goals it's it's abs absolutely noble, I would say, because you know trying to make the gaming space more healthy, uh, oh, yeah. get people you know thinking a little bit about you know their 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 physique, their their uh, diet is really important because hey, gamers mm -hmm. tend to have this you know quota on just sitting on their ass all the time and playing on stuff which in our day and age can be changed i, I mean it's the, the yeah, it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be that way of course yeah. of course yes, the, so. the sedentary lifestyle is uh it's gonna leave its mark so it's better to adopt a healthier lifestyle uh, the sooner the better and you know baby steps baby steps it's uh the way it works I mean, I mean, yeah. uh, we can we can share this, and now I think it's appropriate because <laughs> Zaryu did mention uh, uh, the he the, the him and his fiance have this uh, you know the, the the fitness book, the cookbook. When we decided to go to the gym finally, like both of us, <laughs> like okay, man, let's do our you know one hour, one hour and a half workout at the gym. Flame downloaded you know Zaryu's uh, I don't know which version of that uh, was but it was the workout the full out workout and I remember I couldn't do all that shit man <laughs> it's like frustrating as shit <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah guys um, uh, we, you will probably check all of Zaryu's information eventually but uh, I did uh, well I was watching Zaryu a little bit because I like uh, I like his videos like his energy and uh, I don't know how I came across the fact that you were uh, you were into fitness and nutrition and all of that but I did and then I was like, uh, and I, I still don't remember how I came across of, uh, on your uh, programs, on your fitness programs. And I know I bought one 
about when was it like a like a year ago or so i think so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and we and we went to the gym and we did it, it was actually pretty pretty cool i i liked it i liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah i, I kept oh, i kept the routine awesome, the, all, all the way through i mean i i selected the things that would work for me like you know all of the the back stuff I can do, but everything else I loved it. I, just I can do back stuff because I carry his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was expecting that shit. <laughs> well, that's awesome, and just like you touched on already, Flame, it's not about like getting everything done with what what it's about is starting where you can, right? Yeah. I, I tell people, and I have a list of actual IRL dailies. I don't know if you guys have seen that. But it's at uh, zaru.tv slash pages slash dailies. But it's basically a list of five or six basic dailies that I tell people to do before logging onto WoW, right? And that's 20 minutes of sunlight, okay? That's getting proper sleep at seven, eight, if you can't, yeah, seven or eight hours if you can, you know? That's going for um, just like a 45 minute session of movement, whether whatever that means to you, whether that's a walk, whether that's a swim, whether that's riding a bike, whether that's getting a workout in the gym um that's uh getting some some fuel in your body so fruits vegetables protein right yeah um that's saying hi to someone you love not just being a recluse in your room but just saying hi to your mom saying hi to your your brother or sister or, or a friend and texting them and saying hi right just a little bit of social activity um and then so we got sunlight water sleep food saying hi to someone you love i feel <laughs> I think i'm missing one but yeah I, I already feel this is gonna be so so inspirational <laughs> this episode is like uh, we already popped it off it's like one, yeah, one, yeah. one of the things uh we we like about you know getting folks like yourself uh, um on the podcast is you know just sharing stuff or you know experience or ideas or actual actions that will help other people improve the, regardless if you're a wow player or not or a gamer or whatever i think these things are like you know basic necessities if you want to just yep. become better all around good better version so props. absolutely man yeah. and i i in that last one is just drinking enough water right staying hydrated um and i i think these are just really core fundamental things for a human being to just feel good and funny enough like when i started implementing taking care of my body i mean not only did i feel better and whatever but my rating in the game went up right i actually played <laughs> better you go. i actually started owning harder because yeah. i'm feeling good it's no surprise right, right? if you're <laughs> like if you're if you're like amped 100 percent, you're feeling incredible like you're gonna have a good session too right so i'm, I'm saying this because of course i want people to feel good in real life but man if you want to maximize your gameplay get rank <laughs> one do whatever or play the best you can getting some sunlight sleep water movement all right and socializing and then you log into into the game all right you're just yeah. like let's go you know? so <laughs> yeah. that's what it's about too it's just about if you want to do well you know oh that's those, that's great on those dailies i thought i needed to have my kicks on point but apparently <laughs> it's not like it was my my problem man there you go no but that that is that is actually true like a good state of uh, a good mental state a good uh energy yeah. state like if, uh, obviously workout contrary to popular belief depends on how you work out of course it does give you a lot of energy to start your day and my personal preference is to have my workouts in the morning before i go to the office before i start my work so i am yep. a, an avid uh supporter of exercise whatever, whatever you like i personally like uh yoga and sports and stuff like that so whatever works for you that's totally the thing agree. that's the thing you know as long as you're not limiting yourself to the, this and that you know you, you know, a good a discipline should be part of it but you know don't don't be too hard on yourself just start easy and then develop in progress i guess mm -hmm. that's uh, that's the way of straight put it but zari you like were you always like this my dude when when did this click happen for you because i'm pretty sure there's a story there some somewhere <laughs> uh were you all like this where did it happen can you tell us like when, when was the that moment that ah oh, shit i gotta do this Okay, so yeah, that's a really good question. So um, I was kind of always into fitness to some degree, but I wasn't into it to this degree until about two or three years ago. So when I was a kid, I saw my parents working out and I just knew that it was a normal thing for adults to work out. So thank you to mom and dad for being a great oh, inspiration. Oh, yes. Great role models. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, but so when I was young, I, I was um, a runner. I did a lot of running I was, um, there was a club at my school. I don't know how deep you want to go here. If we got time, yeah, though. Go, 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 um, go, go. We'll, we'll tell you, go. Okay. <laughs> so there was this club called Myler's Club. And every day at lunch, this was third grade, all right? Every day at lunch, you would run laps around. It was uh, not really a track, but like this this track that we made 
and every lap you did, you got a stamp. All right, two laps, you got another stamp. Right. Then every day after lunch, they collected and counted how many stamps you had and then put it next to your name. And they did that for the entire year. And it encouraged these third graders to go and run a few laps, right? The laps were mini laps. They weren't like a, a whole track or anything, yeah. just to get third graders mm -hmm. active and moving. And um, so we did that for the entire year. And then they ranked us on this leaderboard, okay? Oh, Just shit. like in WoW. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> That's where it started. <laughs> That's where it started, right? So I love like leaderboards, of course. I'm, I'm all about pushing for ranking. That's why I like to play WoW PvP, push 3v3 to rank one or whatever it is, right? right. So I like leaderboards ever since I was a kid. Always very competitive. I probably have my dad to thank for that one. Um, and we, we did a lot of running. Anyway, the whole year went by. I got rank one in my Milers club, which I'm still <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> <about today. laughs> rank oh, one in my old school, one. right? So that was Me my too. like introduction to fitness. Um, that was, geez, third grade. I'm 27, however many years ago that is. Is that 10, 15 years ago? I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting up there. Yeah, it, it, um, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not making me feel any better either. But, uh, but, but yeah, so we uh, we did a lot of running. Um, so I went in the middle school, and I was I was uh, I, I was in track and cross country, and I, I loved it in middle school. And then I was diagnosed with mononucleosis, so oh, okay. known as mono. Yeah. Um, and I was hospitalized, and I was actually on my deathbed when I was in like sixth or seventh grade. I I was Ooh. my parents thought maybe I wouldn't make it. You know, it was it was pretty bad. Um, I did make it we were still here today so right one baby same attitude yeah. Spoiler alert. yeah very very grateful for that <laughs> to be alive absolutely man um so we're we're here but after that my 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 asthma or my breathing isn't the same i kind of have this athlete's asthma so i had to um train in in other ways my, my running is definitely not what it used to be but yeah. but we're here um so for a few years, that's when I started playing WoW. And I was just really, really into WoW. I would play like 12 hours a day. Like I'd basically go to school and come home and like r literally run to the bus stop and run home from the bus stop so I could just play more WoW, right? <laughs> and there was no balance there at all. It was, it was just like I really was engulfed by the game as a lot of people can probably relate. It's a really, really fun well, game, we all right? Know you about can, it, yeah. Yes, exactly. You can log in in this fantasy world, do whatever you want, right? So it was, it was wonderful. Um, and that was through middle school and starting getting into high school and, um, in high school, I, I did train some weights. I was running a little bit when I could, and I was training some weights. Um, and then in college, it was really getting to this point where I, I looked myself in the mirror and I realized I'm an adult now, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm an adult and I moved out and I'm a grown up. and I saw my parents as a kid, like I mentioned previously yep. that they worked out as adults and I was the normal thing to do as an adult. And once you um, hit a certain age, I think mentally for me, it was like, it's now my responsibility to be a healthy and strong and, and um, physically active adult. And that, and that is what I felt I had to do. So in college, I dug into a ton of research, the literature about how to build a strong and healthy body um, and mind and what are the things that I had to do. And um, I'm, I'm not a nutritionist, right? I don't have, I, I majored in business CIS. Um, I'm not yeah. a nutritionist, but mm -hmm. I did a lot of my own research with, with how to set up a program, right? With programming, how, how should I be eating? How should I be recovering? How should I be doing all these things, um, form throughout the gym? So I spent years of just trial and error, reading the research, the literature, digging into it. Um, and then I guess here we are today or about two years ago or three years ago when I met my fiance. Um, well, my fiance now, the girl, my girlfriend at the time, and I was talking to her about like, you know, I, I feel good. I feel really good that I, I do all these things and then I game at night and I want to share that. I want to share that with more people. And it was this idea at the time to do the workout streams in the morning with the community, right? And yeah. a game in the evening. Inspired by Bashira, um, he has that garage set up. I do a different style of training. I do body weight style training. And that's what was really cool that I was like, oh, everyone can join in. Everyone has body weight. Everyone can do the stuff we're doing. If they just have a basic setup at home or even almost nothing at home, they can sure, still yeah. train with mm -hmm. us. And um, so long story long, I guess. <laughs> 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 no worries, yeah. We, uh, yeah, so we started the workout streams kind of like last year. Funny enough, co when COVID hit, our gym shut down and uh, it was like, okay, well, we can't go to the gym anymore. We have to work out at home. 
And if we're working at home, might as well do it on the live stream. So we started last year around when COVID um, hit and the gym shut down. And we're like, you know, it'd be really cool if we have everyone that's also stuck at home, invite them on, invite them to come train and then kind of just share this message of, look, you can get a workout in, you can get your sunlight, water, fruits, veggies. Um, and then from there, we pre released the program so people could follow along. Um, if they couldn't catch the live streams, we released a cookbook with all the stuff we're eating at home. And it's really been a very amazing journey this last year, year and a half now. Um, yeah. Since then, to just share that with the community and seeing people DMing me about like, you know, Zaryu, I've lost 50 pounds, I've lost 100 pounds, or just Zaryu, I'm mentally feeling sharper and better. Or uh, sometimes I'll get a DM saying, Zaryu, I've been watching and consuming your content. and I've actually quit. Wow. But I'm just feeling the best I ever have. I'm still following you on social media. You know, I got that job or I, I, I'm in that relationship That's now so cool, or I, I went back to school and those type of stories like really, really touch my heart and makes me feel like I, I need to continue sharing this kind of stuff. So that's where we are, man. <laughs> oh, that's, that's amazing, man. That's, that's really admirable. Inspiring. That's, that's, that's <laughs> this is, this is why we like to do this, right? Cause you never know what kind of person somebody is. You don't get to see the whole, the whole, Scope. the whole, the whole, the whole thing. Right. And there's so much going on underneath and people have so much to give to the world and it's it's just amazing man it's inspiring well you've essentially inspired me to uh, to take up gym again because i'm not a big gym fan but i do want to be healthy and strong and all of that uh but yeah you also inspire me my man and uh you helped me get through uh through a, a tough time in my life as well working out oh, helped me man, yeah that's awesome dude <laughs> it's uh it's interesting how this thing works with with the human brain i guess like as soon as you discover something that works for you and it gives you benefits it's weird how you have this i don't know instinct to share it with other people yeah. right it's like man I, i've discovered this this works for me why doesn't yeah. everybody do this it's so good right <laughs> yeah and, and you want to share it yeah yeah, yeah exactly it's, it's yeah it's interesting how, how our minds work in, in in that way and for you to like like take it to to that level i guess and at this point you know receiving all of these private messages or whatever, i think like you know, apart from all, because obviously at some point there's, you know, some organizational skills involved, probably a little, a little bit of business. Everybody, you know, if you want to do something out of pleasure, some, you have to sustain yourself somehow. But man, yeah, is it exactly. all worth it when people come reach you and, and tell you, man, you, you basically changed my life. That's something you cannot value, period. You're right. It's yeah. I love how you said that, man. <clears throat> I do believe everyone has... A skill set. Everyone has something to share, and and everyone has this kind of um, gift that they can share with the world, right? And for me, I believe like I'm a rank one gamer, and I really value taking care of the body. And I believe that I can share that with the community yep. just through the the program, the cookbook, the fundamental guide, all up on the website, or for people just tuning in, or this dailies graphic. Um, we have a, a phone download. So it says like, do your dailies on the phone. It has just <laughs> a little image of like sunlight, you know, yeah, water, yeah. just just to inspire people in some little way to take care of their body physically. So they're feeling physically good, but they're mentally sharp. And then when they're getting on the game, like I almost like challenge people to do your dailies for 30 days and see how your rating in the game goes up <laughs> if you're a PVP or your performance in the game. Because I, I think a lot of people are going to be quite surprised that they're actually feeling good. And yep. then they hop on. It's actually a, another uh, a phrase that we have called guilt-free gaming, right? And the, the um, concept behind guilt-free gaming is doing all your dailies, right, before you hop on WoW gives you this like guilt-free sense, right? Say like you go to work, you get all your chores done, you do all the things that you need to do, right? You get your workout and your sunlight, you have this nice nutritious meal in your body. And then you hop on WoW, guess what? There's nothing in the back of your mind telling you like, man, I should really be, you know, doing my homework or I should really, yep. I should have got oh, my yeah. workout in. Like, dude, you can hop on and game it and you know you got everything done you needed to get done for that day and it's yep. already done and you feel good and there's, it's guilt-free, right? So we call it that guilt-free gaming. You can hop on and just enjoy your gaming session without <laughs> any like mental um, distractions and stuff like you know you should be at the gym right now you know <laughs> so, so yeah that's that's what we're sharing 
It's a, you should probably get that trademark, man. You don't, you don't know where that thing is going to go, for, go for guilt-free gaming, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's <laughs> But, you know, it's, uh, it's quite inspiring, man. And, um, you know, th thank you for being open like this, you know, talking about this stuff. It, uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are listening or watching on, on YouTube are going to get at least some idea. And by the way, you can check Zaryu. Well, first of all, there's, uh, you know, his YouTube, his Twitch, his Twitter. Maybe you can switch the cameras, dude, so we can show show uh, oh, Zaryu all stuff. All right, right. Like, So it's YouTube.com slash Zaryu TV, Twitch.tv slash Zaryu, Twitter.com <laughs> slash Zaryu. And also, you mentioned Zaryu.tv slash dailies. Was that the link uh, for the uh, dailies thing? Your, your website, it's, right? Yeah, it's Zaryu.tv. If you just go to Zaryu.tv, uh, the Zaryu dailies TV. will be at the top. I also linked it in the call, but yeah. All right, all right, yep. all right. Well, we'll, we'll put it in the, in the after edit. So definitely go <laughs> check it out. Definitely go check it out. All right, but there's, there's okay, we, we had the, the, the whole story about, you know, becoming a better you basically, physically and mentally, right? And you fusioned this so nice with World of Warcraft. And we now know that Zaryu started gaming really, at a really young age, let's say. Um, but what I didn't get, because I remember, man, I think it was... Uh, before what launched, I remember, you know, browsing through Twitch and Soda Poppin was mega big at the time with, with WoW PvP is playing a lot of Feral Druid. And I was cycling, you know, through Twitch and I stumbled upon this skinny dude who was playing <laughs> a Frost Mage. I mean, like super high. I mean, I knew about Zico at the time, Venruki. I never knew about Zaryu, right? Let's like, oh, interesting. But he was, he had this this thing because i know I, I catch something that was some sort of a tutorial you were i think you were starting your series of guides for frost mage i think it was frost mage at the time i hope i'm not mistaken uh it, it was still mr fandaria actually um yep, that's right and, and and after that now i think the story can can go on itself but you first off started streaming and then putting stuff on YouTube, right? It wasn't like, I'm going to start YouTube and then stream, right? Or how, how did the, the whole um, content creation, let's say, uh, thing came about for you, my man? That's a great question. So for me, I did start on Twitch. Twitch was my original platform. I didn't have a Twitter. I didn't have a YouTube. I didn't have an Instagram mm -hmm. um, like I do now. I, I started streaming on Twitch. I was really inspired by Recful. Um, oh yes, rest in peace, Breckful. Thank you for everything, yeah. dude. Thanks, Breckful. <laughs> I um, I started yeah, twenty twelve was my first stream. So October, I think twenty twelve. So it's been <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over eight years now. Wow, jeez. Big. But uh, yeah, so I started my YouTube a, a six months or a year later in twenty thirteen or maybe even twenty fourteen. My first guide was. I recorded it live on stream, I believe. And I just said, all right, guys, I'm making a, a, a Frost Mage tutorial and I'm going to be doing it live on stream. And then I took that highlight and put it on, on my YouTube channel. That was my first YouTube video. Um, and kind of looking back, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Gary V. Um, he has a content model about doing something that like long form, like a podcast, like, like yep. this that we're doing here. <laughs> yep, yep. And then taking a clip of the podcast and putting it then on Instagram or putting an even shorter clip on an Instagram story, putting a longer clip, the whole thing on YouTube, you know, putting just the audio on Spotify, right? So you're taking one piece of content and then you're sharing it across platforms in the way that makes sense for that platform. That's essentially right. his content model. So for me on Twitch, I'm driving all of my content. Right. And yeah. from Twitch, I'm then uploading highlights to YouTube. Um, I'm then uploading funny one shots and stuff over oh, to yeah. Twitter. Oh, yeah. We love those. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to be on Instagram. Instagram's a little different, but still kind of similar. I'll sometimes upload my highlights to my Instagram story, but Instagram is a peek into my real life. Right. So for people that care yeah. about how I'm training and eating and what I'm doing behind the scenes on my days off and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what Instagram is for. So we have little like pieces and bits, but my Instagram was, or my uh, YouTube rather was never, um, it's never a place where I was like a traditional YouTuber in the sense where I'm like, I have a script and I'm, and I'm making edits and I'm, and I'm, you know, trying to portray a message like so beautifully where everything is like cut, 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 cut. <laughs> and there's a bunch of edits and stuff like that. It, no, it's always been very transparent and very just one cut. Like even when I do a guide, I'll talk for 20 minutes and that's the guide, right? And I, it's just whatever's on my head, I'm flowing out there. 
flow state and that's it and that's what comes out and i and i i like that style it's very repeatable for me i yeah. enjoy it and uh that's that's kind of how things have come to be with my twitch and youtube and kind of content throughout all platforms and that's how we learned to play mage in arena yeah well, well <laughs> i have to do you know, i have to actually give props to to zario because you know not not all people can can do that like especially when when doing a guide or something it's it's very difficult to be like fluent and make sense for the whole part of it right yeah uh, some 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 people work better with scripts some people work better with freestyling yeah. it mm -hmm. and then editing it. It, it it's all good as long as the final um you know video or content or whatever is good uh you yeah. know it's it's the best thing. but you know there was like a, that that was the thing right when you started this um you you had this model right you started streaming a lot and then you decided to open up to youtube and put put a lot of the the twitch highlights over there and i know at some point you recorded i know i've seen videos on you you recording yeah. and um oh what was it man i think at some point because i was i have to be honest here i was following hansel you know hansel right like uh, yep. uh the, the fire mage and i was following him you know to get my light on oh man this is how you play the play, play fire mage but at some point hansel i think he switched he stopped playing wow and played fortnite or something i don't know he, he basically stopped doing content and was basically no other source like pvp wise for us to like go for and you know how, how to play fire mage or how what are the cons for the fire mage how you play with a rogue and then 2v2 and stuff like that and that was you and <laughs> i i know i know for a fact dude that that was all like recorded that, that wasn't from no no twitch clips that was recorded and edited beautifully it was uh, you know no script i'm guessing but you still had that stuff I know recently I've seen a lot of Twitch clips on your on your YouTube channel, but I guess what I'm going with this, like, do you have like a, a grander scheme, a bigger plan for all of this? Like, can you share like what what would you like to see happen for yourself and your brand in like five years or something like that? Do you have this vision for yourself? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. So I guess before that, I do want to clarify that I really like how you presented that. With the content model that I talked about is just what works for me. I don't want to make course, a higher yeah, yeah. <laughs> saying it's a better way of doing it or you, everyone should do it like this. But yeah, this man. is what works for me. And if you guys maybe find something that works for you and that's that's pumping out the content that's beautiful on the on the you know when it comes out to the, the public, then that is awesome. Of you course. know, do what works for you. Um, so yeah, so for the next five years, wow, it's like you put me on the spot on that one. <laughs> good, <laughs> you better good believe question. it. <laughs> um, so we just moved into um. The new house oh yeah congratulations for that man oh forgot we got that was a big achievement i i followed the progress man because you posted it on youtube <laughs> a lot with the pics and stuff congrats man finally yeah yeah so we uh we're building and um it was like a kind of like a, a track home or like pre-built but we it took like six months it's done we moved in and we're yeah. here actually we still have like no furniture as you can tell from uh, the streaming room beautiful, and <laughs> my like living room as we, we need furniture still step by step right yeah <laughs> Um, so we, uh, just got engaged. My fiance and I just got engaged a couple months ago. We just moved into the house. So for like this year, we're going to be planning a wedding and getting furniture and kind of doing a lot of adult stuff, man. <laughs> Being an adult basically. <laughs> yeah. but that's right. That's where my mind's been at. But, um, so for, for the content, I really want to continue doing my thing with, with sharing, um, you know, rank one guides, my journey to rank one, but also how keeping um, a healthy mind and a healthy body is really critical in that for me and just sharing that with anyone I can out there in the world. And man, these past few weeks like have just been insane with the stream growth. I don't know if it's because it's January 1st, but we've had like over a thousand people tuning into like every Ooh. workout stream recently because <laughs> of the, maybe because it's January 1st and everyone's up and on, but that's super cool. Nonetheless, I'm really, yeah. really proud of people showing up and, and hitting those workouts with us and or just typing in the chat and having a good time um and hitting their own workouts later whatever it is but um yeah so whew, yeah lots of big plans we we have a, a merch line coming out in the next few uh, weeks <laughs> or months, so there we go getting the juicy stuff <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm super excited about it it was actually with merch, it was funny because last year I really wanted to get some merch out, but with COVID, man, like every time oh. I would try to like order some samples, it would take like yeah. four months to get here. And then like, I, we got the samples and I was like, oh no, we need to change something. And then it's like, 
it was, it was hard. So we ended up not getting out merch last year. So that's one of the things I really want to get, dial in this year is get that merch out for people. Yeah. Um, with, with the program and the cookbook on the website, um, it's a one-time purchase, but we do offer free updates. So another big thing we're working on this year is to get a free update out to the cookbook, free update out to the program, um, and maybe even a free update out to the fundamentals. So the people that purchased it, they get a nice, you know, some maybe new workouts or some, some new recipes to try out um, and stuff like that. Because yep. um, I think like any good coach or any good like cook or anyone just isn't that's not stagnant is trying new things, right? We're always trying new recipes, always trying new um, ways to train and stuff like that. And we are learning and that's part of the process. And we want to keep those things up to date for the community. So we're going to be pushing out those updates this year as well. Um, but for the next five years, man, I think it's just bringing in more of Josh, bringing in more of Josh Luhan. That's my name. Oh, um, yeah. And not, <laughs> <laughs> not phasing out Zaryu, but bringing in more of me, you know, sharing more of that on my Instagram, sharing more of that, whether it's through vlogs, whether it's through cooking streams. We did a cooking stream on um, this uh, most recent Thanksgiving and um, invited the community to come have a Thanksgiving meal with us. And <laughs> so being cool. so this cool. really cool place for the community to come together and, and share experiences and just something that transcends just gaming. We want to bring more health, fitness, and and lifestyle into the mm. brand, and um, I think that's what we're doing. So that's that's the next couple of years, definitely. <laughs> so sounds amazing. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> it's a very healthy way of <laughs> of, of looking at life. I, I wanted to ask you, man, because you said that uh, in in uh, university or college uh, you studied business. Um, can you go a little bit more into that? I'm actually interested in like what you studied, if you, if you enjoyed it, if it was something that you are actually looking for, because I know I've studied business as well. And are you like applying any of that into either your uh, Twitch or YouTube or your daily life or anything like that? Like, do you subtract anything that you've learned? It's like, oh, I can rearrange the way I think about this or do this kind of thing with that kind of mentality. Because I know that I've learned a little bit from economics in terms of uh, in terms of what we do basically here. What about uh, what about what you studied? It's a <laughs> it's a really good question. I actually get this. I've never answered this question publicly. I get a lot of questions like this from like friends or family. You know, like right. oh, you majored in business. How does that help with your stream? Right, and a lot of people are probably wondering the answer to that question. I um, I I grew up with both of my parents being entrepreneurs. They have a interior design firm that they've like kind of run and they kind of just started it from nothing and they learned as they went. Mm -hmm. And I think my best piece of advice and more so than what his, what I learned from college was learning by going, right? Starting the process, you're going to mess stuff up, being okay with, I'm going to mess this up, but stumbling forward, right? Mm -hmm. Just, just continuing to learn throughout the process and dial it in further and then you'll mess up again and then you'll dial it in further and then you'll mess up again i think it's the number one thing that has helped me with my stream with youtube with twitter it's been a it's been a learning process and guess what i'm still learning right yeah. and i'll never stop learning it's just this constant process of that um and and constant improvement which is another theme on the stream um that that kaizen kind of badge that you see everywhere on my stream is uh means constant improvement one percent better every day right that's all it is one percent better every day um and so wrapping back to college, there are probably a lot of nuances that really helped me out. Um, I think for what I'm doing, it, it wasn't a huge help, to be honest. It's a nice um, insurance plan. It's a nice fallback plan. Um, I'm not saying don't go to college. I, I enjoyed my time there. It was fun. I, um, I probably learned a lot subconsciously that I don't necessarily realize maybe about how to be professional. I think how to write an email, right? Like if, yeah. if, a, if a company wants to work with me, maybe I learned how to reply in a professional um, way that would mm. make me seem, you know, like legitimate to work with them. Or if I'm reaching out to a brand or something like that, um, or to put together something like a cookbook or a program and offer that on the website, building the website. So I'm sure there, there are a lot of things, but um, I think number one would be seeing my parents doing that as I'm growing up. And then number two, being okay with failing and um, constantly revising the process and being okay with learning by doing. And and if I could tell someone um, that wants to be a streamer, wants to be a YouTuber, it's, it's always 
oh dude I, I don't have a good webcam yet it's like dude you don't even need to start with a webcam like you could just start by stream you know just start just is, go. is the number one thing yeah. i would tell people yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just go. start man it's really yeah. it's 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 a really really healthy attitude it's like basically the same thing uh we kind of answer like uh within our streams or our non we're well, mostly not in our comments and stuff hey man stop thinking about all the pre-planning and all the equipment you need and all of the, the tutorials yeah. on Adobe Premiere or whatever, just go, go and just go. Uh, yeah, just mm -hmm. that's it. Action makes the difference, man. That's why people always find excuses um, to stop the action. Yeah. You know, the action is like the most curious thing for your brain to accept. Like, especially when you're, when you're trying to reach like new frontiers, like, hey, I've been, I don't know, a customer service rep all my life. But I've seen these cool guys doing, uh, having a lifestyle out of making videos. I want to do that too. And, but that action seems so scary for the brain to accept because it's such a new field. You got so much like rooted in your, I don't know, a couple of years of experience of working in a field that it's, it's scary. It's a new, it's a brand new thing. And your brain just develops all these, oh, I need to make this plan and I have to make sure I have this cool webcam. And, but first I need to get good at the game. Nah, man, just go. <laughs> it's just simple. Start. Yeah, it's just start. Yeah. yeah. I, I love that, man. A lot of it is exactly what you just said. It, con it wraps back to identity. It's like, who do you think you are? It's, it's, it's yeah. this mental tackle, this mental wrestling that you have to do. And the first thing you have to do is identify as the person that's doing that thing and if you can do that then you've won right if you yeah. can identify as i am a streamer i'm a youtuber and you say it if someone asks you what do you do i'm a streamer right if someone asks you what you do you don't, you don't go well you know i'm trying you know i'm trying to stream or <laughs> yeah, no, I think this is really really important <laughs> yeah well that's like number one like uh, that's huge like when i like ask someone like what they're doing, you know, what, oh, what do you do for a job? What do you do for a career? I, uh, just trying. <laughs> no, you have to like understand and have some conviction behind yeah. it that I am this person. Maybe you're not there yet a hundred percent, but mentally, if you're there, you're going to get there. I think and I think a, that's a, a lot of like, that's so important, man. Making that mental yeah. click. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a different, different way of uh, thinking of fake it till you make it, I guess. Just boom, mm -hmm. act, get a, the attitude of being in that position and just act it out and it will eventually come to you piece by piece. And I think a lot of it has to do with what you also said, um, the, not being afraid of failing. And I think this is kind of, because I felt this on me as well. Whenever, whenever there's a chance like, oh, I want to start doing this and change this part of my life, you're kind of adopting a new attitude and making that action, like Marcelin said, kind of invites the risk of failure and people are afraid of failing. But um, I don't know who said this because I know I read it somewhere. Uh, a successful life or a successful business or wherever it is, it's that point after you fail like 99 times. Is that 100 try that you do after yeah. you fail like 99 the times. The satisfaction you get, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. if, you, if you look at everybody that has whatever they want in life, their, their perfect job, their perfect lifestyle, their perfect house or whatever they have, they've worked their butts off, especially people who, you know, who started, started with nothing and they failed time and time again. And that's actually how the best thing that you can learn is the, the, the best way to learn is to keep failing and taking that and moving on, but accepting that, like you said, accepting uh, the, the 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 fact that you will fail. Everybody fails. The only yep. thing that keeps you up and gets you to where you need to be is not giving up. Very beautifully right. put. <laughs> yeah, I love that flame. Yeah, it's like for me, I um, I've had a lot of people over the years try to bring me down. You know, like just send me oh, DMs you know like. Bro, you're not you're not like a, a streamer that gets 10,000 viewers. So you're not, you know, you're you just just like, what are you trying to do, bro? Or like, you know, with people, even with sharing health and fitness, just saying like, bro, like what what are your like, why are you sharing this? Like, what are your qualifications to share this? And I'm like, because I feel inspired to, you know, I, I it's changed my life and I want to help other people. If people find use out of it, that's great. That's amazing. And look, tons of people have lost. 10 pounds, 50 pounds, and even some people lost 100, 200 pounds doing the stuff that we talk about. So, wow. you know, That's, I'm just sharing what I know. And I think people are afraid of doing that, you know? And, and I, I love how you said it. Like, if there's no, like, failure, um, there's, there is a quote as well, something about, like, success without risk is, there's no glory and success without risk or, or something like that. Um, but it's it's yeah it's important to just start by doing and um, and then you'll learn along the way and I, I'm definitely a big advocate of that. Well, um, you you know Zario, or uh, or or John, John 
Josh, sorry, Josh. Josh. Yeah. Josh. <laughs> sorry. So Josh, you, you do come across as this super positive, energetic, you know, being force to be reckoned with. Um, and I'm guessing, you know, you got to this point due to a lot of experiences and, and stuff. Um, but we do usually tend to like get a little bit on the real here. And I'm just going to ask you, like during your, your journey, right? So we, when we talk about journey, we talk about, you know, the fitness stuff and the streaming stuff uh, and the wow stuff too, because I think they're all intertwined, right? Uh, so during this whole journey, can you talk about one of the lowest points you ever hit? And can you also talk about one of the highest? Like, I think I know what the highest is, but the lowest. Did you ever had to do something, I don't know, or had to go through something during this journey? Wow, this is getting real, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My lowest point. I, it's actually such a good question. Um, and it's not a question that a lot of people necessarily have asked me. I think probably to avoid, you know, just just to avoid me being in an uncomfortable situation or something like on the stream. It's not like, Hey, hey sorry, what's your lowest um, <laughs> But for a podcast, man, this is, this is cool because we're, we're diving deep. Um, so what I, I like, when you say that like two, um, time periods come to my mind right away. Okay. Um, and I, I guess they're both kind of tied into one, but I, I graduated college and I don't want to get too much into the, like the financial situation, but I was in debt from college and I, you know, had a, had a choice. I could stream, continue streaming because I started streaming in college. I could yep. continue streaming. Um, and at the time, um, I don't want to get too in depth with the finances, but I was um, making less money than I would if I worked full time at McDonald's. OK, right. um, so it was not you know, not a ton of money to be streaming at that time. Of course. Um, I had like a hundred or 200 subs to put that in, you know, like I had like a hundred subs on Twitch, maybe 140 if I had right. to guess. Um, and the, the other option is I just graduated from college. I'm a, I'm a new graduate. I could get a job. I actually had maybe one or two offers on the table um, paying pretty well. Right. Um, it was at least double or triple than I was making streaming. Yeah. And it was, it was hard. It was this really hard choice of like, I know if I take this full-time job, I am going to make more. I can move into a nicer place. I could, you know, whatever. But I, I, I looked myself in the mirror. Once again, it was like one of those look at myself in the mirror moments, yeah. like, um, like lower moments of like, I know that I want to create content and I want to put myself out there and, and, and do stuff like this. And I know that if I ever do it in my life, I'm already in a great place to do it, right? I am, I was 22 years old coming out of college. I already had a following of 70,000 on Twitch, I want to say maybe 60 or 70,000 followers wow, on okay, Twitch. Yeah. Hmm. And I was like, if I'm ever going to make this work, I'm young, you know, I can move into a shitty place. I can just pay for, you know, what I need to pay for yeah. and create content. And if, and if I try it for two years and fail, then at least I can say I tried and failed, right? At least I can say I gave it my all. But what I didn't want to do is, is not try. And then 10 years look back thinking, man, I should have tried that because I knew that's what I wanted. I didn't want to live with that regret. So mm -hmm. I, I turned the job offers down. I moved into a shitty place. I didn't buy <laughs> anything except <laughs> essential groceries and my rent. And that's all I did. And it was... It was um, not going super hot for the first year. I guess so. <laughs> you know, and that was that. And that's what I talked about as my low. I think mentally, I was at a low. Um, it got you. I was in a I was in a relationship at the time that that wasn't right for me. Um, you know, nothing against the the girl at the time, but we just weren't a good match. I and I couldn't see it at the yeah. time, which is. It's hard, hard. It's you know, hard, hard to see that it. at 22 years uh, old, you're a bit more uh, focused on, you know, you know, the, the blads and all of that. You know, it's hard to see it. As soon as you grow older, you start to realize a little bit better, right? Yeah, my pre my frontal cortex is developing and I'm starting to see things a bit clearer <laughs> um, as I'm getting older. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so at the time I was in the wrong relationship with, with um, no kind of financial success in a, in a place I didn't really like living. My stream was not doing very well. I was streaming through the night because I did get more viewers at night. So then I was streaming from like 
10 or 9 p.m to like five in the morning seven days a week i never took a day off and it was it was it was the trenches man like seven days a week eight hour streams to make less money than i would at mcdonald's (laughs) um and i i wanted it bad but i wasn't keeping in mind my health i wasn't keeping in mind balance in life i wasn't um um, you know, getting out there and experiencing and bringing new things and new content and, and having fun and enjoyable content for people to consume. So I was really spinning my wheels. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, and then in like 20, 2016, I want to say, so I graduated from college in 2016. Um, so I guess a year or two later it would be 2018, um, was kind of like a breaking point. I suppose I, I moved, um, back in with my parents, which at, um, how old was I then 20 let's say 24 or 25 to move back in with your parents maybe isn't the most fun thing to do (laughs) um yeah and and I you know ended that relationship moved back in with my parents and it was it was like just to say a friend it was hard it was it was it was challenging um mentally but from there I I started started really focusing on the things that made me me again working out um I started, I eventually flipped around my schedule when I met uh, my fiance or girlfriend now flipped around my schedule to streaming during the days. Um, When I met my fiance um, or girlfriend at the time, she um, introduced balance into my life about, hey, you can take off a Sunday um, and we can just, you know, go out and enjoy the day, go on a hike, you know, go out to lunch and then kind of just enjoy the day. It was super hard for me to let go. It was really hard for me to let go of that Sunday. I'm like, no, I've been streaming seven days a week and I want this. I have such a passion to grow and I know I can create better content. And I, I just, I want to put myself out there as much as possible, but letting go in a way helped me move forward and going outside and getting my dailies done <laughs> and doing all that propelled the brand and the business forward in a way that I couldn't imagine beforehand. And that's why I'm so passionate about sharing it with others for people that feel so trapped in the thing that they're currently doing if they could just realize that letting go a little bit, getting some balance and trusting the process is, is so critical. So for me, that, that low point was, was right before then, right? Right before yeah. letting go, being so stuck in my way of streaming seven days a week at night. Um, and, you know, and then, and then it kind of, I, I, I hit this point where the content started taking off when I let go a little bit, when I switched my schedule to the day, when I started being authentically me, a little bit more and sharing the stuff that was really inspiring to me. And then um, the content started going places and that's been the last two years. And it's been, it's been quite the ride, man. Oh yeah, man. So, Oh yeah. Well, props to you and congratulations, man. You basically turned, you know, a sinking ship into a fucking jet plane. So (laughs) yeah, man, it's definitely, it's It's funny. It's funny telling that story, you know, because that's all been up in my head, but I guess I've never really, uh, yeah. verbalized that story yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool to, to yeah. say that out loud <laughs> this I mean, is like a therapy session man <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what oh Stoops no said. yeah I was about what is it with the pvpers <laughs> dude but it's like the, the the best thing you can do for yourself i think uh like internally is just being grateful you know because obviously you go you hit lows and downs and stuff and you get to a point where you know you can just reflect on that and just be grateful hey man i've been through shit you know i've overcome it and it's interesting that you mentioned that you went back and 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 you know you ended i don't know how to call it maybe a toxic relationship or just an unmatched relationship let's say i'm you know not good chemistry or whatever um you went back to your parents I don't, I don't necessarily feel that is something to be, I don't know, some people are maybe ashamed of that or feel bad, especially at a certain age. But I always feel like whenever you go back to your parents' house or just in, within that energy of your parents, it's basically you go back to your roots, man. It, I, yeah. I always feel that way. When I go back to my mom's house, there's just this feeling of charging my batteries naturally with no egging. And I know I'm accepted 100% for who I am. And it's a good place to just reflect and get back into it. You know, it's the rest and recharge place. If I were to think it like that. So I think that's cool too. And Flame can relate with this too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, I've been the, the kind of person that uh, I need to get out of my uh, my parents' house as quick as I can. I want to make it on my own. I don't want to rely on them. Um, plus, there was also this this little ego power. Like, I wanted to prove to them that I could do on my own. Because, obvious, well, like, well, maybe it's not obvious, but 
Um, a, a career in gaming is not very culturally accepted uh, here in uh, Romania, or yeah. probably in most countries anyway, to be fair. There's uh, a stigma, sure. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a stigma around it. So uh, <clears throat> doing what I do and wanting to do what I do was not really what my parents uh, thought I could do the, to the best of my potential. So going back, I was like... But I did go back because, okay, mom, uh, will you hold me? Will you, will you, uh, will you keep me under your roof for like a couple of months while I uh, put this up? Because this is when I moved in was when I realized, okay, I could either get a job uh, because I was just, uh, the, the old job just, you know, tanked and uh, I could either get a job or put all of my time into, into the channel, into what I like, into creating all of this with Marcellian. And uh, I, I took a chance, I took a chance, and I said, okay, I can uh, save the money on rent, uh, if, my, if my parents can, uh, can keep me in for like a couple of months, well, I can see this going to a place where I can afford my own place. And it did, it was a risk, it could have not have happened, and uh, obviously I, I owe a lot to Marcin as well, but it does help guys to, to like I said, to, to not give up. It's, you, you never know what happens, and it's better to... Obviously, you know, with a little bit of a common sense, it's better to regret the things you do than the things that you cannot do. Because you cannot turn out, turn back time, but you can still learn from something that you do, whereas you cannot learn anything from nothing. Well, like Zyrus said, man, you know, you better yeah. have it to regret, to, you know, man, at least I did it my all, right? Then thinking about it, man, look at my, what I could have been. Look at what this could have been, right? Mm -hmm. so it's not ever yeah. stunning. Don't... Huh. I would much rather try and then fail and not have any regret than... Yeah not try at all right and that's probably something that i just grew up with and just going back to your comment marcelian about going home shouldn't be something ashamed of i completely agree man like staying at home putting energy into your passions and as long as you're motivated to to do stuff and you're not just watching netflix all day because you're like oh well i don't have any rent you know i can just <laughs> sit at home and do nothing but you know if you're sit if you're going home strategically for a couple months to save money and to, to get exactly. after that thing you want to do, I would recommend it. I think that's great. And um, it sounds like you have great parents, Marcelli, and that yeah, you feel but, at home and you feel accepted. And that's really cool. Yeah, I'm proud same, to say that as well, but same I as you recognize <laughs> that not everyone is in a situation like that. I know, you know man, so. I know. That's, I mean, we can we can talk about it more as in a metaphor, if you want. I, I know a lot of people maybe don't didn't have the best relationship with their parents, but I know a lot of people should have a place where they can go. It could be their parents, right. it can be their aunts, their grandmas, their I don't know, best friends' house, whatever. There must be a place where you can go and just feel that that warmth and that recharge and that you know that that slow but sh slowly but surely clarity of mind settling in. There has to be a yep. place. I, I I cannot accept that. You know, I mean, you know, we're talking about this community. You know, not generalizing the whole world and stuff. But within ourselves here. Yeah, I think everybody has a place they can call home, whether it's yeah. home with their parents or where they grew up or a relative or maybe it's a, it's a spiritual place. Uh, basically a sanctuary that can keep us like, oh, okay, I'm fine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, so, you know, yeah, man. getting uh, all that energy back. That, that rank one, you know, that rank one mentality you know, has <laughs> to be there. <laughs> you know, love it, love it, the, the leaderboards. Well, well, well uh, uh, Josh, man, that was, that was pretty cool that, that you shared that, man. And I, I really hope... You know, um, you being this open on the podcast, you know, doesn't like you may, I, I know it cannot make you 100% comfortable, but this is what this podcast is all about. Like we share stuff like this and with the sole purpose of, you know, of, first of all, we're fans and we're curious, but you know, m much bigger than this is stories like the, the, the these that are being heard here mm. are potentially inspiring other people that may be in that situation more or less. And if mm. they see somebody like yourself, Right, who his at this point has a lot of accomplishment, man. You, you can you can talk, hey man, I'm no ice mongol, but you, you don't have to be no ice mongol, okay? You feel accomplished. You you just your energy just spills it out, right? And you can do this for a living, and you had to go through that. It can be inspiring, right? So thank you for being open, man. I hope that wasn't too uncomfortable for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. man, I I appreciate you asking difficult questions like that and digging deep because I yeah. completely agree. Those are the questions that people probably really, really want to hear or maybe yeah. they don't know they want to hear it, but they need to hear it even though they don't know they need to hear it. Right? And it's <laughs> that that thing that they're just like, oh, okay. So no, I appreciate you you digging deep like that, man. That's really cool. And it's, I'm all good, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. It's good, good, good to know. Uh, I'm guessing like on on streams when there's like you know a lot of people live and you're you're focused on your work or on your game, it's not always the perfect context. Maybe sometimes it is, but most of the times it's not really the you know the ideal context where you would start talking about, hey man, you know you know guys like randomly, hey guys, you want to hear about my lowest point? 
Just you know, <laughs> I mean that could happen if you're uh, if you're playing against a balanced druid, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, oh I, think, I, think, yeah. I think I think I think there was this one arena match one time. I got matched into two shamans and a moonkin, and it was bad. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, we, we 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 all know what was happening. All right, man. So um, what, I wanted to ask you because I kept I kept keeping it in my mind, but the, the things just started developing. All right, we can do this, but I know. Uh, in terms of AWC, I know um, you you casted some of them, but I, I and sorry if I, I, I may be ignorant on this, I don't know, but um, have you ever planned to join and actually compete in NWC? No, okay, so that is the most asked question. Ah, man. <laughs> All right. YouTube comments. Get it. We did it here too. Uh, I, I get that one a lot. So. I guess since we are long form here, normally I would just be like, yo, check on my FAQ. If I'm streaming out, like, no way. I'm <laughs> like, once every minute, right? Um, but more long form, it, it comes down to, um, like, if we're getting philosophical, right? It comes right. down to creating the life that I want to be and creating the, the um, person that I want to be, right? So, like, right. I guess a metaphor would be taking the job that you want to... Um, move forward in or you want to be that person taking the job for the experience not the pay necessarily right and for me if i'm really looking at what's inspiring for me and who i want to be as an individual who i want to be as a person as i you know grow more and more into adulthood what do i want to do with my life um and i and i really look at myself in the mirror and i and i answer truthfully i i don't want to be a professional gamer that's not my number one thing and i know that might be a shock to some people because that is what they want to do. And I'm not saying that's not a valiant or a cool, cool thing to do. That is awesome. If that's what someone else wants to do, that is really rad, really cool. I think at heart, I'm an entrepreneur. At heart, I want to share the things that are authentic to me. And at heart, I love fitness and health. Right. And creating a content and a stream and putting energy into the program, the cookbook, the website, the yeah. workout streams, the um, YouTube channel, the Twitch channel for daily content, for Instagram posts, writing out blog posts for the website, sharing short form on Instagram about the blog. Yeah. This takes time. This takes energy. And I think maybe people don't realize that, right? It's like, oh, you're, you're rank one and threes. Why don't you just compete? And for me, just to, as, a, as a side note, as an asterisk, if I were to compete, I would um, be consumed by it because I'm very competitive. I don't just compete like, oh, I'm just going to compete and come in last place. Like, yeah. no, I'm going to compete and do well if I'm going to compete. I'm not just going to just kind of half-ass it, right? I'm going to yeah. put my all into it if I'm going to compete. Um, so I, I do say never say never. Maybe I'll enter a phase of my life where I have shared a lot of health and fitness and it's running by itself that I don't need to do much to the website and the mm. cookbook and the program anymore. Right now, there's a ton of work to do. So I'm, I'm <laughs> doing 16 hours a day of stuff, six days a week, trying to build this thing. And it's, it's yeah. getting there. It, it really is. And, I, and I'm really proud of it. But it's not there yet. Definitely not there yet. But it's, it's a lot of energy. A lot of, of my energy and focus is that the house, the content, the, the health and fitness stuff. And that, that's what I'm doing right now, basically full time. Um, will I ever compete? I don't know. Um, I, I, um, if like, if I were to compete, just to put it out there, I would probably be playing with Peekaboo, right? That's my oh, like man, partner. Man, you I just would, answered uh, my next question. God damn it. I was like, oh, so if you were to compete, would you, would you play with Peekaboo, please? <laughs> <laughs> if I were to compete, I'd play with Peekaboo. And, and I've said this on stream before, but he, he has a team and he's, he's crushing it with his team. And I, I have the move merch, man. I, I rock it all the time. I'm the moves yeah. number one fan. So I want to see the move do well. Yeah. Right. I want to see their team crush it this year. Um, if for some reason they ever needed a mage, maybe I would think about it. Yeah, I would I would probably think about it. Um, but I I wouldn't join any team just to compete. It's not it's not like the frontier or my my fo most forward passion, right? Yep. That's that's health and fitness and, sh and sharing that with the community. Making gaming a healthier space is the number one thing I could do. Now, if one day it presented itself i had everything rolling and i could get the brand to a larger audience by competing hey never say never um hmm, would, would make sense yeah yeah i mean i mean that's i would say the more adult 
approach on this question definitely Sp responsible way, responsible yeah for sure, yeah, yeah, for, sure. <laughs> for sure i was just because um i was just intrigued because you, you did mention that you are super competitive you you did mention that as a as a kid you were super you know hyped up and you know rattled up about leaderboards and stuff obviously you have the the pvp leaderboard and wow but man you know the ultimate pvp like god place is BlizzCon, right there on that stage, mm -hmm. right? And I'm guessing like for each, there's a lot of rank one players out there, not everyone competes, right? I was just thinking about you, like after the whole story, it's like, man, I would love to see Zarya on that stage, man. I, I would see, like, I would see like the <laughs> glitter in his eyes over there, man, just, but sure, yeah, you, yeah. you know, your, you know, priorities and stuff and what you're passionate about. It's pretty, pretty spot on, my dude, pretty spot on. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, never say never. Like I could see a world in which, you know, I spend the next year or two building the business and the brand to the point where I'm like really, you know, happy with how things are rolling. And then if Peekaboo's team needed a mage yeah. and things worked out perfect, then hey, you know, I could, <laughs> I could see that happening. But it's not something that I'm like thinking about every day. And it's not something that I'm like, um, yeah. you know, like, man you know if i could just do this you know there's a lot of other stuff going on in the meantime so I'm, my sure, energy that's, is that's, there that's fair, certainly because uh you did you did mention uh, bajira before and uh i don't know how many people do this but you and bajira are basically an inspiration uh, personally to me and it's nice that you're bringing that that energy into the community because for a long time the stigma of gamers were like oh they're like like fat acne filled guys just playing all day <laughs> eating the, the south park meme right yeah. the south park uh guy <clears throat> but seeing that can people can be can be gamers can be really good gamers and have a healthy lifestyle have something going for them have have all this positivity all this cool energy going around that inspires that inspires me because i i i, I, t I tend to narrow down on one track and so i was like okay i gotta i gotta work on uh, the youtube channel i gotta grow this she's like oh work on no i don't have time for that right now right but seeing people being able to juggle all of this and be successful is really inspiring so even though maybe some people might be a little bit disappointed that they won't see you in AWC, I am perfectly happy that you're uh, you're still on the track <laughs> of fitness and health because it's really cool. And it, a lot more people should be able to understand that gaming is not something that you just dive in and you lost and there's nothing else in the world. It's like it can be a nice hobby and it's growing so much in the last, has been growing a lot in the last couple of, I don't know, decades. 20 years i don't know but it's really cool and it's become a part of life a part of culture and it's nice to see it on the same planes as fitness as business as other yeah. things you know yeah. it's really cool yeah well, yeah definitely i think just to like kind of bounce off that flame i think um everyone should be doing their dailies or some type of movement to some extent and that should directly correlate with how big of fitness goals that you have right if you're trying to be an olympian your training program <laughs> is going to look a little different than if you're trying to just generally stay fit or if you're trying to be you know an instagram model or if you're trying to be you know whatever if you're trying to write your own programs like like me or it should directly correlate with your goal yeah. meaning if someone is trying to basically just stay fit feel sharp and feel mentally good i think what you have to do is a lot less than people might expect. Like I, like I put out with the dailies, some sunlight, some movement, some water, some sleep, some fruits and veggies and protein. After that, man, you're feeling good. It doesn't, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing like, yeah. oh, I have to, oh man, like I, I know I have to do all this stuff and it's so much. It, it can feel very overwhelming to hit a workout or whatever. But like, that could mean a quick jog, which, which, by the way, you can get sunlight and your movement in at the same time. Those are two different dailies, but you can get both of those in simultaneously, right? Sleeping is just sleeping. You wake up, you hit a, a quick workout outside in the sun, and then you drink water while you're gaming. I mean, these are very easy things, yep. but um, just doing that is going to push the content further. At least that's, that's um, what I think and what I believe is that man, taking care of yourself physically is actually going to push whatever you're actually trying to do forward more, mm. right? Um, so it's not like this trade-off of like, well, I'll take away some of my business and I'll put more energy into fitness. It's really, they go hand in hand. Yeah, you, yeah. They play you off each put other. more energy into your, your fit, physical health and your mental health, then your business is going to grow as well, right? It's not something that's mutually exclusive. You can have both. And when you have both, they'll actually both flourish right so it's an ecosystem it's not something that steals from the other and that is um, a realization that 
took me a while to fully understand and now it's cool to share that with others <laughs> it definitely is, man. definitely feels that way too it's it's vibing off you man it's vibing off <laughs> yeah it's just pouring out of cells like uh, take it take it everyone it's it's good it's good for you um all right man we're, we're we're getting to the to the closing stages it's been a hell of a show hell of a podcast that i knew it would be like this super inspiring um i i don't know if you're into this but i'm just gonna ask um do you like read books or listen to podcasts or stuff like that? Uh, something, and if you do, like, can you share something that helped you or you know could help others in that sense? Or if not, we can just you know, well, no, we don't we'll move along. Yeah, so I do. It's actually something that I would like to do more of. That's actually like one of the things on the forefront of my mind of like, okay, I need to figure out the best sliver of my day to get new information in, yeah. um, because that's very important to to understand new ideas and to learn and grow. That's part of the philosophy of Kaizen, 1% better every day. Mm, I'd yep. say um, two of the books I read last year that are like, like really good. Like one, I think it's even better than the other, but. Um, All right. I have um, my notepad open. James. <laughs> you have your dad. Yeah, yeah. James. <laughs> um, so James Clear, Atomic Habits is one of like, just very transformative. He Atomic talks what? about. Atomic Habits. How to, oh, Atomic habits, yeah. He talks about habits and how to change them, um, and why we are the way we are, and w- like it's it's uh, it really really dives deep, and it's a lot of things that you might already know, but said in a way that really clicks. And, yeah. and James Clear really really talks about these um, concepts in a beautiful beautiful way. And one of the things that I said earlier in the podcast was actually kind of a a quote from the book of if you want to change behavior, what you're really trying to do is change identity. You have to change who you think you are first. If if identity shifts, everything else is going to follow. But the book is absolutely beautiful from James Clear. Um, the next was Rich Dad Poor Dad. Oh, um, oh there we go. Which one was. Yeah. yeah, boy, of course. Yeah, we 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 have yeah, that yeah. beautiful, beautiful uh, in language. Yeah, I would say. yeah, awesome book. It, it really talks about differences in mindset between um, someone who's coming from a rich family or a poor family and differences and just beliefs and mindset and how all of these subconscious thoughts really affect the outcomes in our lives. Um, um, And then as far as like podcasts, I'm listening to, I don't even know the names of them, a bunch (laughs) of long form fitness type of podcasts to get more information in about the current literature and and most optimal ways to train, eat, um, recover um, and stuff like that so that I can keep the program and the cookbook as up to date as possible for the community. Um, and then is, in terms of like business stuff, I like listening to like Gary V. I I like Vee. listening to, um, I don't know, different stuff about like stocks just cause I'm interested. Um, and then for, for lifestyle stuff, I don't know, I guess I would have to like, just like look on Instagram or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I guess, I guess that's good for, for the book. Number one recommendation would be atomic habits though. Definitely. 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 So you, you, you heard it, you heard it here guys and gals. Okay. Uh, is it James clear? Like as in clear, yeah, yeah. Uh, James clear atomic habits. I haven't read this. I've read, I've read a bunch of books about human behavior and habits and changing them and, you know, force changing and stuff like that. I haven't heard about this one. So I'm really curious. Oh, you're uh, going to love it, man. You're going to love it. Oh man, There's another I'm... one too called switch by Dan Heath and chip or something switch. And that is, it's a similar, um, is a similar book to atomic habits where it's talking about how to switch behaviors. Yeah. Um, the difference is switch is more just going into the studies. So it might be a little drier. Um, whereas James clear, kind of says things in a really cohesive way that makes a lot of sense but switch if if someone likes just reading studies about how behavior Mm. works and how to change this and why knowing something is good for you doesn't necessarily mean you're going to do it like we all know we should move and eat healthy and work out we know that we should be doing that as a human but most people don't because it takes more than understanding um, what you should do to do to, to actually do that behavior. The knowing is just a small yeah. part of that, mm-hmm. right? Changing behavior is a little bit more complex. So um, that's another that's another good one that dives into that. that that's something like uh, I think all people need because a lot of this knowledge, um, as you mentioned, uh, you kind of know it, but you don't don't really like you're not really conscious about it. And once you get that information yeah, yeah. poured in in some way, you become much more conscious about it, and you're able to act more naturally on it, right? So. 
that's the whole yeah. the whole gist of you know books and podcasts and stuff. It's like information most people already kind of know or just feel, mm -hmm. but once it's you know stated in a way, you get it into your conscious, it makes a click, boom, start acting. There so you nice. Go. Whew. Yeah, wow. definitely. I like that. It's like awakening something you already know is yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. Having someone else say it in a way that is just so clear, James Clear, <laughs> and then you're, just, you're just like, you're just like, oh, okay, yes. And then that's, then from there, it might, might actually start making more of an impact. So yeah, I definitely agree, Beautiful. man. Beautiful. All right, guys, Amazing. please check out uh, our buddy here, Josh, aka Zaryu at youtube.com slash Zaryu TV, twitch.tv slash Zaryu, twitter.com slash Zaryu, and also Zaryu.tv, the website where you'll find the whole daily stuff and all a bunch of cool stuff as well, you know, the cookbook and you know, the fitness programs and all of that. Uh, I think it's worth a shot. He helped a lot of people. He helped us, first of all, and got us motivated. So why not you? And um, thank you so much, man. It's well, been it uh, it's been awesome. I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. It's been awesome. It's been inspiring. And what a good way to start off the year with two brilliant podcasts so far. With uh, and, uh, The second one was Zaryu. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. But thank, thank you a lot, man. Yeah, thank you guys so much for having me. You, I saw the email last week and I'll be like, oh man, I would love to hop on and talk about <laughs> stuff like this. You know what? I really appreciate all the the um, long form questions and what we dived into. I think it's really important to talk about this kind of stuff. And yeah. I uh, just like you guys touched on, I don't think enough people are talking about stuff like this. So I'm yeah. super happy you guys are doing what you're doing with the podcast and jumping into more than just wow. Like it's a you know, wow yeah. focused podcast or you bring in guests from wow. But yeah. Bringing in this real life stuff is really cool, really important, and I'm I'm really glad you guys are doing it. And thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm glad you can come, and it's been it's been a pleasure, and it's been inspiring, <laughs> and I hope a lot more people uh, take take your example. Oh yeah, 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 we're gonna do this again on season three. I I know it because there's so much more we can get into, but you know, just having like the hour format. Um, we're gonna we're gonna hit you up once it's again. The first right? taste of Zari. Uh, yeah, the, the first <laughs> we're gonna have because probably a lot more stuff is going to be accomplished by 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 Josh A.K. Zari, uh, and we're gonna have to talk about it and how the journey was and stuff like that. So, um, that being said, um, we can we can I guess we can close it off officially. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank everyone for listening, for watching on YouTube or Spotify or you know Google Podcast or iTunes, whatever you're in tune with this oh, yeah. i hope it we're, was... we're everywhere we're everywhere and we do have a lot more episodes that you can check and yeah. be sure there's going to be a lot more coming out and you can find most of the things that we do outside of the podcast if you're interested in what we actually do it's youtube.com slash line if you're not watching this on youtube you should definitely check that out yeah and then also all, all the previous episodes with all of the, the wonderful folks from there you can find us on all the platforms but that's it for the outro have a great rest of the week guys see you next monday with a see brand new time. guest bye bye still i play wow still i play wow